What? Good YouTube, and welcome to the game show where you get to guess, is it lazy customers, is it market manipulation, or is it somebody committing money laundering and maybe tax evasion? Called by the grave, Maximum Gold, the gold letter rare, has absolutely skyrocketed in price to be the second most expensive called by the grave in this hand trap heavy format. And when we actually click to see what's going on, the direct by TCG player one minimum is now 974 because all of these 949 copies that sold sold out so is it granny hopping onto ccg player not knowing how to scroll down and going shunny needs this and it was one of the cheapest oh it's pretty expensive it must have just gone up or is it like actually somebody gaming the system to try to wander their money i'm not gonna point fingers but i do think that would be actually pretty plausible at this point with the amount of ridiculous sales going for the TCG Direct price. I mean, we actually see on other cards that TCG Direct does not have that big of an impact typically, and it is up on its other copies. Like, the actual gold letter rare is up versus what it was, maybe because of this intention, but like, it's just absolutely wild and weird. Let's go ahead and get into the cards that are actually moving somewhat more naturally. Infinite Impermanence is seeing a good amount to play this format, and every single version of this card is up, including Starter Deck Commons. Also, if I sound a bit weird, I am super stuffed today. I might actually have to stop mute the mic and blow my nose but we do it live here now infinite impermanence is kind of interesting because it has so many modern printings so many different rarities yet it's still managing to do this climb and show konami can cash in on a card time and time again and balance it with its reprints and make the player base very happy and still have high-end versions weird isn't it konami it seems like Maybe that OCG model works just a little bit. Unchained Soul of Yama's Quarter Century Secret Rares have gone up over the triple digits again. This has multiple places to be played, but the most hyped mayhaps right now is U-Bell. So be aware, it does have multiple decks interested in it. I was looking around at how Labyrinth was doing and what they were doing. Transaction Rollback, the Collector Rare, has been climbing in price, and so has the Ultra Rare, I believe, is around $28 or something again but be aware those are up and then i looked over at what dahlia was doing with lab and oh my gosh full smoke screen into tempai i haven't thought about smoke screen since like a couple years ago and that was flashbacks to also billy winning his third ycs this went absolutely viral i wouldn't be surprised if people did buy into pieces of this and we do see cards like ariana slowly going up for the collector rare and yeah, around 70 to 75 again. So lab cards are up, trap deck cards are up, and Dahlia doing it big with like making the waves of people reacting to the, oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to OTK you in the next game when you like decide to go first and try to set up. Rudy Rose Dragon also in that list. I hadn't peeked in at a while. The cheap version is running out of copies, so you might want to get yours sooner than later using that TCG player link in the description down below, costing you nothing extra to support the channel directly for the cards you'd already be buying. And on the high end, which is awesome, also still secret rare, but not prismatic. It, the OG has gone up over time for Tempai itself more so, but also finding its way into when you splash the whole deck into the side deck. Trident Dragion, I hadn't peeked in at too long. It hasn't moved a ton. The secret rares are solidly above 100. It seems like they're preferred to the ultra rares to some degree at this point, but maybe that's just because there are more of them to move for how old it is. Legacy of Destruction has a couple of movements. Lightsworn Dragonling has actually been coming down somewhat fast for the Quarter Century Secret Rare, and we see them under 120 now, so that means that we're seeing Nightmare Apprentice now be the second most worth Quarter Century Secret Rare in the set. Diablese is also going up, which I was surprised was starting to go down as hard as it did, but now she seems to be back on the rise. So be aware, just some minor shifts happening within the set, nothing too major major besides that. Absolute Zero came up in the Discord and people were surprised at how hard the GX Magazine promo had gone because, well, look at it. It's a holographic to jump promo. People collect jump promos. Having a secret rare is not only a nice looking version of this card, 
easier access, but also it's going to come in and wreck how absolutely ridiculous this was getting priced not too long ago. Like, 75 bucks? Come on. Now, is it too shocking that this would be under 25 at this point? Not really. Having another access version of this card was all the competition it really needed to bring down other versions. We're going to see this even with some air of collectability around a version unless it's like a tournament pack. Jump promos all the time jump down in price even though they're fondly remembered. We see the Speed Duel GX midterm box as an interesting set because it didn't get the worldwide release. I was just going over the cards and some of them are yeah, I guess interesting is the word of the day, but a lot of them are starting to find their market price versus not having that accessibility everywhere. Miracle Fusion, I think, is overperforming a little bit. Baby Sarasaurus, about where I thought it would be. Sakuretsu Armor is doing well. The card I'm surprised about actually is Gaia Plate, which also got, I think, a common within this set, if I'm not mistaken. So that's what's detracting a little. Yet the Ultras... Excuse me, like I said, allergies. Terrible today. <clears throat> the Ultra Rares are around $12 at this point, which is far down from market price. Ultimate Rares are still doing their thing to some degree. You see the graph's not going anywhere too crazy on that. But the Secret Rares, I feel like, for Ultras holding 12 are barely budging and going up, so you might want to get this version sooner than later if you are interested in the card itself. And the commons are relatively cheap, but not that many in quantities. And again, this release is not everywhere. Konami could do an unlimited run at some point to try to give that, but it's splitting the Speed Duel format. Oh no, you can use these cards anywhere outside of Speed Duels though, so you can use them for main Yu-Gi-Oh! Ubel has slowly gone back up in price, including its reprint recently in Battles of Legend. Now, the lowest one would be the Silver Letter Foil Rare, and I feel like a lot of people are adverse to that, but be aware, the Ultra Rare and that version are slowly going up here because people just want to have access to this deck, period. And then finally, a card I didn't know had gone up as much as it had over time is Upstart Goblin, and it really has been a while since it got a printing. People were mentioning uh, pull Playing this for Sky Striker, Maximum Gold Eldorado, it's getting old at this point. It's crazy to look at sets and be like, that was how years and years ago? But yeah, it's been a while since this had a reprint and... Every single version is headed back up towards being like a $3 card. The gold letter rare, it's a $3 card without the crazy money laundering accusations for what it is because a lot of the other versions are actually common. So it is an upgrade versus those. The holographics, it did finally get a super in secret slayers that wasn't a tournament pack. So that's a nice, easy access version, and that sits near $5 at like $4.25, and you can get free shipping, etc. But yeah, around the $4 super rare, and that's not too far from the common. So you might want to get your version of this sooner than later, depending on if you are interested in the future of Sky Striker decks, which continue to get support after support after support. It's just a funny one I hadn't thought about in a while. Thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation, and sorry to play try not to sneeze the entire video.